Hello everyone, this is Vrishali. In previous session, we discussed about black box, white box, unit and integration testing with examples. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss the next type of testing that is system testing. Let's start the session. In this session, we will discuss about system testing, their importance, types, an example of system testing. At the end, we will discuss some important question that have asked in previous year question paper. Let's see all these points one by one. Now, the first topic is what exactly system testing. System testing is a third level of testing in software testing process. See here in this particular image. We already discussed unit and integration testing in previous session. In unit testing, tester test each and every modules, components, methods mentioned in your project individually. After that, there is a integration testing. Here, tester tests a complete product or project at the same time. And now, there is a system testing. System testing work on complete and fully integrated software product. This testing performed by quality assurance team in testing phase of software development lifecycle. System testing is a type of black box testing. That's why they didn't test internal working of software system. Basically, system testing focus on which type of functionality provided by the particular project and this functionality is as per the customer requirements or not. They also test quality of your product, expected output of your product with accuracy of their test result and overall behavior of your product. They test all these parameters. Now, in market, there are various system tools are available like Selenium, Loadrunner, JMeter, Microsoft Test Manager. Tester use those tools for generating different kind of test cases purpose. The choice of the tool depends on which type of technology used in your project, size, budget and testing requirements of your project. Now, the next topic is importance of system testing. The main importance is it improve quality of your product. Here, tester test that your product is successfully work on different platforms and environment. See, there is there are different types of operating system like Android operating system, Windows operating system, right? So your product is successfully work on each and every operating system different platforms and on the customer environments. They ensure all those things. Next one is the error reduction. Whatever the errors are not found in integration and unit testing, these errors are verified in system testing. Next one is a cost saving. Here, tester continuously test your product as per the system testing features. That's why they reduce unexpected cost and project delay. The next importance is security. See, here, tester ensure that your complete product is bugs free or error free. When you deploy your product at the customer environment, so there is no risk at customer side. Next one is the customer satisfaction. System testing build customer confidence and they also improve overall user experience because they test front end interface and graphical user interface of particular product. And last importance is software performance. Due to system testing, tester test a complete performance, behavior and data flow in particular product. They analyze complete memory consumption, processing power, budget, time related to the particular product. Now, the next important topic is types of system testing. There are total nine types of system testing. Let's discuss all these types with example. Now, the first type of system testing is performance testing. Let's take an example of WhatsApp. You all are familiar with the WhatsApp or any other social applications. When you click on WhatsApp application or the website, that will be open within a second, right? Means they have a good load time and speed. WhatsApp also provide different types of features that will be usable for the customers. Means they have a good stability and reliability. You can use different features of WhatsApp like status, audio call, video call at quick time, right? Means they have a good response time. So this is called as performance testing. 
in performance testing they test all these parameters of particular product next one is a load testing see in load testing they test that your product is work on real life extreme load the best example is suppose when your result was declared at that time all the students are uh, verify or check your result on university website means there are number of users number of students are use same website at the same time so sometimes what happen the particular website get hang or work slowly right means their load testing is fail at that time suppose there are various shopping application like flipkart amazon and multiple user use those application at the same time but still their accuracy their load is very good right so this is called as load testing they test throughput and number of users related to the particular application next one is a usability testing the name suggests that your tester test that your application your product is easy to use they provide good functionality and features as per the customer requirements or that will be usable for each and every users basically they test user error rate task success rate and how much time required for completing a particular task in usability testing the main aim is they test that user satisfaction or not related to the particular product now the next type is regression testing as we discuss earlier sometimes customer requirements are continuously changes related to the particular project so here tester ensure that any changes done during development process which have not introduced any new defects bugs or errors in your project so they ensure all that thing any old defects old bugs also not exist when new features new requirements will be come so this is called as regression testing next one is a migration testing see there are different types of updates are available when you update a particular software or application then there will be a new features regarding this right so when you modified a new features so at that time there will be no any issue related to the particular product or the project so this is called as migration testing they ensure that your system needs to be modified in new infrastructure but it should be modified without any issue without any error the next one is a functional testing here tester find out any missing function missing requirements related to the particular system they make a list of it and send list to the developer so basically it improve the quality of your system now the next type of testing is recovery testing here tester ensure that your system is capable or complete recovery when there is a system error system crash and system failure at the time of system crash there is a no data loss this all things are ensure in recovery testing next one is a stress testing see here in particular project there are various types of loads and capacities related to the memory load then a time bounded load then capacity load performance load so when all these loads are happen still your system is work robustly means they work accurately and quality result will be generate so in stress testing tester ensure that robustness of your system and the last one is a software and hardware testing in your project you can use different types of hardware and software devices as per the requirement so here tester ensure that all this hardware and software uh, particular devices are compatible with each other and there is a good interaction between that and all this hardware and softwares are run or used without any issue so this is called as software and hardware testing now see here this is just a basic example of system testing see in particular registration form there is a address option right and at the, at that particular place there is a text box is given now this address contain only 20 characters at a time okay this is a capacity that is 20 characters when user enter more than 20 characters it display error right so this is called as functionality testing they test functionality and feature of particular component if it is test is pass then they generate that you are uh, you can enter 20 characters in particular address box right the next one is a security see each and every application there is a username and password option is there 
Sometime for setting a particular password, there is a particular rule. Means your password is minimum eight digit, or sometimes your password also include capital letter, small letter, numbers, then uh, suppose any alphanumeric values, right? So when user generate a password as per the rule, that at that time the security testing is pass. But when user does not generate a password as per the rule, suppose user generate only six digit password. So at that time they generate a error and your security testing is fail. And last one is the usability. See, in particular website there are various links are available. When you click on link, the next page will be open, right? So in usability testing, test those things. That each and every websites are properly open or not, or each and every link is properly work or load or not. So this is called as usability testing. Now, as per your previous year question paper, what is system testing and what are the different kinds of system testing usually perform? This question asks for six or seven marks. Sometimes they also ask explain different kinds of system testing for eight marks. So you have to prepare that particular way. So thank you. Keep learning.